Happy Thursday. Welcome to your Power Hour update for July 1st, 2021. I hope you're all doing well. We have news from Philip Morris, Xpeng, and Bosch Health. So stick around. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another Power Hour update. This is the show where I try to get you up to date on all the news you need before the market closes so you can make good decisions when you're investing because I think that's important. I hope you do too. Let's jump right in and talk about the major indices. We have the S&P 500 up 0.43% today, followed by the Dow Jones up 0.27%, and the NASDAQ slightly down on the day, down 0.13% today. Take a look at Bitcoin though. We have BTC down 4.4% today after having a, a crazy, crazy run a couple days ago. Volatility, guys. Crypto volatility. Absolutely nuts. All right, let's jump right over to the news before we, of course, talk about the top gainers and losers in the market. We have Philip Morris International acquiring a pharma company for $820 million. Philip Morris is trying their best to distance themselves from cigarettes and smoking in general by 2025. They're trying to increase a completely different side of their business, and that's what they're doing with, with acquiring this pharma company for so much money. Let's see what the analysts think about Philip Morris and this decision. They are up 1% today on this news, coming in with a strong buy rating based on seven analyst buys and one hold rating with an average upside now of 10.3% for ticker symbol PM over the next 12 months. All right. In other news, we have Bausch Health reducing their debt load by $150 million and Wall Street says buy. This healthcare products manufacturer has announced that it will reduce debt by $150 million. The company will redeem a $150 million aggregate principal amount of its outstanding 6.125% senior notes due 2025 on August 2nd, 2021. Let's check what the analysts think about this news. Ticker symbol BHC coming in with 3% up today with a strong buy rating with an average upside of over 32% over the next 12 months. Pretty good upside there. All right, everybody's second favorite Chinese EV stock, Xpeng, you know, followed closely by NEO, um, makes its largest ever deliveries in June. And shares were up in pre-market trading. Let's take a peek at how shares are doing right now. They are actually down almost 3% on the day. But this does come in with a strong buy rating based on four analyst ratings with an average upside of 14%. Guys, I say this is the second most popular EV company in China because it is in the U.S. market anyway. However, um, there is a uh, there's a lot of space for the EV market in China. Tesla, Neo, Xpeng, Li Auto, and countless others. So this is a massive, massive space right now. In fact, it's the largest EV market in the world, and I think Xpeng will thrive over the next five or ten years. So check out ticker symbol X. P-E-V when you get a chance. All right, that's it for news. Let's jump over to your top losers and gainers in the market. We have Exometry down 12.3% on the day. Ticker symbol there is XMTR. We have Curevac, ticker symbol CVAC, down 12% as well. And two simple holdings, ticker symbol TSP, also down 12%. We have Novacure, ticker symbol NVCR, down 15.5% on the day. And then Microfocus International, ticker symbol MFGP, also down 15% today. All right, for your top gainers so far today, we have Cerebell Therapeutics Holdings, ticker symbol CERE, up 8.74% on the day. And then we have a Diamondback, ticker symbol FANG, up almost 8% as well, followed by TransOcean, same deal, up almost 8%, ticker symbol there is RIG. We have Chimera Therapeutics doubling these others up almost 16% on the day. Ticker symbol there is KYMR. And then we have Clear Secure, ticker symbol YOU. Lucky they got that uh, that ticker symbol up 19% today. Guys, that's 
That's all I have for you today. It's a pretty light news day. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I hope you guys are all excited for the live stream tomorrow at 11.30 Central, 12.30 Eastern, where Julie and I will give you your weekly recap. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for your Power Hour update today. I'll see you tomorrow for the live stream. You better be there. Have your questions ready because we're going to answer a lot of questions live. I'll see you tomorrow.